Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stubu Gaming. Today I am playing Kingdoms of Amalur. Now this is going to be my first Let's Play video. I have done a first look, um, which I did when the game first released. And I want to actually start doing a series of games. Now I apologise if the music is too loud. Um, I'm not quite sure how it's going to sound in game. So I think the menu is always a bit louder. So I hope you can hear me, but if not, then I do apologise. What I wanted to say was basically, this is going to be a little different to my normal Let's Plays. So if I get into the actual start, and hopefully the music will calm itself down a little bit, it's a little bit epic, so to speak. But what I actually want to do with this is I have put out some questions to my patrons and my patrons have basically told me what my character is going to look like. Now the idea is that the story arc will be driven by my patrons. If you want to get involved and put your opinion forward then please do follow the uh, the address that's on the end screen of this video go support me on patreon and you can have your input in the way this story is going to play so the character i'm going to create has already been chosen but obviously as and when i pick up some missions or quests my patrons will be asked what order I do them in and not just that but how I do them so in some cases you might have the option of which character to kill or whether I'm going to um, be evil or good in effect now I'm putting that out to my patrons to decide rather than me so there we go that's the idea anyway so I've got my list of things that I need to uh, go for when I'm creating my character so let us just get to that stage if I can I can't remember yes I can there we go what do you think this one is then alpha run could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter <laughs> what it is. I love these characters, they're funny. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Okay, so. The character is going to be a male Varani. Now, the only thing that I haven't been told is what um, god to follow. So, at this stage, I am going to... I normally go with none, because it gives you an experience boost. Um, let's see... Fire damage, fire resistance, ice, physical and armor. Critical, poison. Okay, so basically war and death are... War is your defense and death is your attack in effect. The others are elemental. And then we've got the one where it's just experience. So... I've been told what they want, and interpreting what they want, I'm going to go with death, because that gives me additional damage output. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a... That seems to be probably the most likely. Um, I basically need to have a very epic beard. So I can go for that and change the beard. What's that? It's quite similar, but I, I am actually going to go for that one and change the beard. So, eye colour. I can't actually see the eyes, but they look brown to me. Let's try and go for some blue. My shadow colour. Not really sure. 
Definitely got a, a big chin though. Right, let's go hair, hairstyle. Let's get something that's... Well, let's go for an epic beard because that's definitely something that was uh, requested. So I think the most epic beard is definitely that one. That's a standard. Yeah. So there's your epic beard. Now, what hairstyles do we have that are going to work well with that? Say, not that one. That was a bit too plain. That one's just completely wrong for that style beard. Too clean. Too shaven. That one kind of works, maybe. Again, I don't think short hair is going to work with it. That almost works. I think that one is the best, if I'm being honest. I do think that one is the best. And I think the hair colour works quite well as well. Very Celtic. I can't even see the eyebrows, that's uh, quite concerning, but never mind. It's the same colour though. Right, so, tattoos, let's get some epic face tattoos. And we want tattoo intensity, we want it high. I've been told that the uh, tattoo is very important. Let's have it blue, because that's like woad. I actually do quite like that one, that's um, an interesting one. That's quite nice as well. Now, I don't usually go for this sort of thing. I don't usually go for tattoos or anything along those lines. So this is all new for me. So I'm thinking... I do actually think that one's quite good, but... I still, I do think that one's the better one. Got any more that go... Why does that look like he's wearing a helmet? Um, that is actually good. I do like that one. And the intensity is not too high. So it doesn't look metallic, which the others were. Okay. What other jewellery have we got? Okay, so I think those two do work quite well. Um, yeah, they do work quite well, I think. So let's confirm that. And then uh, I need to pick a name because I wasn't actually given one. Not in bad shape though, all things considered. Alright then, make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Yeah, being and dead is always lucky. Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. Stigander. That's a bit of a mouthful. Um, let's do Fenrir. Why not? 
He's got some big feet, that's for sure. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. Okay, so in this one I am going to basically get to um, the outside world and that will be it for this particular video because realistically there's not many decisions that I can make there but after that fact I can obviously start running it to instruction so to speak. Yeah, that, that would be pretty disgusting, really. In line on that many dead bodies, you've probably got loaded disease anyway. Oh, he's coughing. Okay. No search all over the place in these. And I, I even know that there's nothing around here, but I, I do it every time anyway, just in case. Could be random. They might put something there that wasn't there last time. Right. Excellent, that's bought me my first drink anyway. There's certain things I always do, I always pull that lever, I don't think it has any bearing on the game whatsoever, but I just always manage to do it. So, um, just a bit more on some of the other instruction I've been given. So, I'm looking to go for um, Great Hammer, so hammers and great swords. That's my uh, primary could even equip that weapon, which would be useful, wouldn't it? Um, that's going to be my primary weapon type, so hammer first, and my secondary slot will be sword. Great sword, rather than the long sword that I've got at the moment. Okay. Stay away! That was timing. Hit that barrel just at the time that that explosion went off. Help anybody. Oh, don't worry. I'll come and help you. Up there, please help me. Please. <laughs> so used to playing my normal game now that I'm uh, almost struggling to oh damn it yes I was dead I'm not dead clearly not not anymore but you were the well of souls remade your butt well, restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. I'm sure he will. I have some questions myself. So, I'm personally going to skip over all of this bit. Um, primarily because I don't know whether you guys want to listen to all of the dialogue um, there's a lot of dialogue in this particular game and what I don't want to do is just go through all of the dialogue and you guys get bored similarly everyone will be going through this tutorial section this is basically the tutorial so everyone is going to be intimately aware of what is going on in this particular section so I'm not overly worried 
about um don't need to map those to the radio which i have learnt on my other game playthrough but yeah i don't need to worry too much about going through this because there's no way you can bypass this an end to death Love the sound of the souls in this. All screaming out. In one of the storerooms. See if you can find anything useful. Well, the uh, chests kind of indicate there's going to be something relatively useful. Flimsy greaves. So, obviously, if I'm going um, two-handed melee, I'm going to want some heavy armor to go with it. So, all of the really heavy stuff I will be putting on. So, let's just equip that armor because torn gloves, they can go with that. Flimsy greaves. So... I am going to be disposing of the stuff that I'm taking off. Let's take that. It comes under armor. In most games, shields come under weapons, but they are actually an armor source, so it's correct what they've done in this. Yes, more to offer. Strange that as there's a war going on. You're not going to do anything. That one had a bow. Get it. Cut that as my secondary for the time being, of course. The lighting effects are really good in this. Um, I do apologise if they don't look overly good. And the reason I say that is because this is HDR enabled. It doesn't actually say it is, but it is. Um, and when you are recording through the PlayStation, you can't capture HDR. So sometimes the colours come out uh, very oddly. If you've read my comments recently you will have seen that that has been a subject of quite a discussion on my Elder Scrolls video. Um, my last Elder Scrolls Online video I should say. So oh, that got good. Both of them. I've never done that before. Um, so yeah there's a, a big discussion about it. Somebody thinks I've re reshaded, re recolored something. To be honest I don't even know what that is because I don't do uh, video editing on a PC. I do it all through my console, so um, there we go. Not really sure what I'm supposed to have done, but I can confirm that all of this is just straight through the PlayStation. No editing of the colours, no editing of the... Um, well, basically, the only thing that I do for editing is sometimes I'll do a voiceover depending on the type of video. Sometimes I will splice together a lot of clips. I might cut out a lot of just walking if it's too much. Um, and obviously if uh, I sneeze or something like that, I might cut that out because that's never nice to hear. But I don't do um, heavy editing, which some news channels would because there's no need for me to do that. Um, it's gameplay at the end of the day. So I literally... Um, just carry on and play in effect so let's put me daggers on rusty gauntlets so we go from I think that is leather equivalent 
I'm now going for the steel equivalent and then eventually I'll get the cloth equivalent for a mage, so More up ahead. If you can sneak up on them with your daggers, you should be able to finish them quickly and quietly. Okay. Don't don't shout about it. Always have to remember to press the right button. <laughs> And there is the crass. A mistake of the gods, eh? So if you want to be a rogue, these are definitely uh, good weapons to use because they are extremely quick. Um, but they are relatively slow. Thief blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. Oh God. That's it. What are you? Can't actually hit that one. I wonder whether there's any way to release it. I've never found one, but it just seems to be a little bit odd that it's just sitting there. Right, I'm not going to bother with anything that I'm not going to need. Mainly because it's just going to start filling up my inventory. And yes, I can sell it later on. But to be perfectly honest, there'll be a lot more stuff that I pick up along the way that I can sell for more. So don't worry too much about picking stuff up in this opening section if you don't need to. Potions are obviously useful. Um armor that you're going to use so if you're playing a mage then obviously all of these robes and torn hand wraps you might want to look at um, but as for this character there's no point in me picking up cloth so and then we come to use the Staff. We covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn a pup. Not more spiders. Burn them. Burn them. There we go. I only got hit once. And a potion. Now if you do have a flaming sword or something, so anything with a fire attack um, enchantment will burn web. You don't have to use a staff. Um, obviously at this section I do have to because I have no enchanted weapons. So the only elemental damage I can do is fire my staff. I've had enough of that. I wouldn't mind if I was actually going to be playing a mage, but as I'm not, it's kind of pointless. Alright. Calm yourself. Right, let's just double check, make sure... Oh, nothing else there. Right, now, the next section is basically where you get to pick your class. So, if you haven't already, this is where it, it's done. That's what I intend to find out. 
He came out of the well. What? Then he'd better get inside to see the old man. Quick! Or those water make another push. This okay. is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. Just make sure you get your tools. We can hold off the two offer here. Five percent chance. Don't think I'm gonna get that. He's directly ahead. He needs to see you. I'll see you on the outside. Right, so you can tell which the armour is, um, etc. by what's around it. So this is your rogue equipment, this is your mage's equipment, and then this is your warrior's equipment. So there we go, all of the uh, warrior type components. I've already got the grass and leggings, obviously, but even so, grab them anyway. Because when one set gets damaged, you can always use the other. Now, there is a camera control, but you can turn your camera. But also, you can have a look around by pressing R3 when you're stationary. And then moving the right stick. Whereas when you move, doing the same, you kind of can still look around, but you don't get that zoom in effect. So the book. I don't quite know what the difference between taking them and uh, just reading them is, apart from the fact that when you take them, you can uh, sell them. This this scared the hell out of me the first time I played. Because it looks like there's no floor. But you turn it sideways and there actually is. So do not panic at that stage. Okay. So not much further to go, um, there's a long talky bit, which I will skip again, and then there's uh, a bit more of a fight, but that's about it. Must be terribly confused by all of this. A little bit. I am Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alistar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing: the well of souls, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. I very much doubt it. So. I wish I could tell you more, but. Your death is a mystery to me as well. You see, the well is designed to cap your rebirth is the first we might truly call it. Too much right. to explain. What's important is I may not be able to save the well. But I can ensure yes, yes. Okay, well, let's I get out of here. Um it's just that you wait. Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what <laughs> Perhaps I should go see it. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the dwarf have reached the lab. That inside the valve. Ah. No, we've got to get you out of here now, quickly. That's it. Leave the gnome to deal with them. I'm such. Uh, well. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive. I was going to say they'd have been in by then. <laughs> Excellent. So I've got two healing potions. That's really going to save the day. So there's no more side um, chests or anything like that at this stage couple more enemies to fight but that's about it okay let's get this chest and then that's it. It was around there somewhere. Get moving, you brute! Tear this tower apart! 
And I don't know whether you can see that through there. But there's a nice uh, rock troll and two Tuatha. So that's what I've now got to take on. Now there are things that you can do, um, not this, although obviously you can do this, but you can um, time your block perfectly and you'll basically stagger the enemy, called a parry, um, and then you can also do a perfect dodge as well, um, both of which are exceptionally useful. And later on with the skills you can actually end up with, um, let's equip that one because it's got better durability um, you can actually end up with skills which make those um, dodge and parry much more effective so you'll do a special attack if you attack straight from a dodge or a parry right okay I don't remember picking up any documents but obviously I have um, you do get little bags that contain all of your components, so you don't have like 10,000 things here, you just have the one, which I do find useful. And there we go. Let's get to the outside, so you can all see the lovely world of Amalur, and then I will call it a day. Okay, there we go. So... I have exited the tower and unfortunately there's no way I'm getting back in there to go and help anybody so there we go. This is the lovely world of Amalur and um, it will be a long 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 process. The world is extremely large and if we just have a quick look at the world map um, all of these areas are pretty big. I mean, to be perfectly honest, this is where your first town is and all of this section is large. Definitely large. Um, so, yeah. I mean, currently on my 22 hour playthrough, I think I've just reached here and I haven't been down here. I haven't been in this section at all uh, or over here and I haven't done either of the two expansions. That one at the top is Dead Kel and this is the Teeth of Naros. So those are included in the standard version of the game right up from the beginning. Uh, there is a new expansion coming soon which I think is called Fates, uh, Fate Sworn or something like that. Something along those lines anyway and basically that if you get the fate edition of this game then you will get that for free as well so um that's worth considering right okay guys thank you very much for watching if you've liked the video please make sure you do click the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and also please click the bell icon so you're notified when i upload next if you want to support the channel more please visit my patreon page the address is down below and leave me a comment on this video let me know what you think let me know what you want to see in the future well guys thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it and look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon you all take care bye for now